Hey, what's up guys? Kato here and welcome to another Anomalia survival video. Today, we have a lion video for you guys. And for the past few weeks, I've been playing a lot of lion and uh, I do have to admit, it is pretty fun. I've been enjoying quite a lot. So these few days that are gonna come up, you guys will probably see a lot of lion videos. In this video, we're gonna do a challenge because people say that it's pretty hard and difficult to survive a solo lion. So I took up that challenge and I created three set of rules. Rule number one, we have to play solo. We cannot have anybody helping us. Rule number two is we have to be constantly moving. We can probably stay in one place if we're trying to hunt something for a few minutes, but we do have to migrate a lot. And rule number three, which is the most important one, it is to survive. I will try and make this probably a longer video because I do want to try and see if I can survive for three hours. So this will be also a special video for you guys. But before we jump into the video, I do want to give you guys a announcement that I have created a Discord channel for the upcoming Anomaly Survival server that I'm currently creating. So if you guys want to participate and join that Discord, link will be down in the description below. And maybe in the future, who knows, close enough, we will have our own Anomaly Survival server. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. Something that I'll probably do is change skin because I don't really think the uh, legacy skin is pretty good for people who would like to play solo because it gives you a position away. It is easy to identify you and probably focus you. So throughout the video, if I change skin, do not get surprised. But for now, we're going to try and see if we can find any herbivores or any animals that we can kill and hunt. Because we are hungry. I was almost about to say that there was no one. Is it a buffalo? It's a giraffe group. Question is... Do they have any small childs that I can kill? Because we have to be very wise on who do we want to hunt because if we were probably two to three lions, we could take on uh, a giraffe. But because we're only one, we might try, but I do see a little small animal over there. Looks like a baby leopard, but I do think I'll try. And go for the other giraffe because it seems like she's still a sub-adult. If anything goes wrong, we can just sprint away. Or we can go to the other damage giraffe. Because I have fought versus giraffe before. Depending on how much damage they can deal. We might have a chance. Luckily for me, I did a little build where I do have a little bit of stamina and armor. Because one is smaller, probably an adult or a sub. The other one is hurt because of the scars, but don't get deceived by that because a little bit of fall damage and you get those scars. So that giraffe might be low on HP, maybe, or might be full HP. But I guess he'll try and kill the uh, baby Leo. Because I know for a fact that he cannot climb trees, so he should be here somewhere. You can see the footsteps. Oh. We heard them attack. Should we kill him? I guess if we do want to survive, we should not show pity for the weak. It hurts my heart a little bit, but sometimes people get friendly. Too much friendly. That they prefer making friends than actual surviving. So if you do want to survive as solo, you should not show mercy. I know probably some of you, you'll be heartbroken for me killing that Leo. But sometimes you gotta think that if that was you, probably the other person would do the same. But like I said, a lot of people tend to be friendly. Too much friendly. You can't really be uh, friendly with anybody because who knows, maybe by the end of the video, I'll be jumped by a group of Leos or uh, lions and they won't feel any sorry for me. Looks like we have ourselves a little group of lions. 
for me at least two lions or in this case one lion is not really a problem problem is when there's a pride of almost seven people but because I'm solo of course I will kill lions because I don't really want to get stabbed on the back because I was too friendly I could kill that rhino but I usually just hunt when I'm really hungry or let's say below 60% of hunger because I do like to give people a chance to grow I just don't really like to kill on sight but if you're talking about leopards hyenas or maybe wild dogs I will kill them on sight because it's kill or get killed well when it comes to herbivores it's, I hunt only when I'm hungry welcome to my favorite place hopefully there will be a few animals around here somewhere that we can kill but uh, I don't really think there are well it's time for us to search some uh, hidden people hopefully there will be one or two people who are trying to afk grow if we manage to find anybody That's why sometimes I use the Ascent, the Q ability. Because you can detect the uh, footprints and you can also detect the poop. That if you stay FK for long periods of time, it will kind of stack up and you will be able to see the little smoke or yellowish smoke. That can help you out track people who are trying to hide inside of bushes or places. Well, that place, well, that place didn't have anyone, so I guess I'll just roam towards the oasis, because at least there I know that there will be a lot of people, and we might have a good PvP or a good chance to die, but because we're getting hungry, we need to find at least someone, or a giraffe, which I do want to try and see if I can hunt. I can try and kill this uh, little uh, rhino. I don't really know why he's still here. Oh, he grew. Oh, no. He's full sprinting. Be very careful. I don't think he spent this point because it's not really doing a lot of damage to me. But we're gonna try and be very careful of our stamina. We use this as. I think jumping from that high gave him a little bit of fall damage. I thought he was gonna use the little uh, cliff as protection because usually people do that. That is a pretty good tactic, finding a wall, rock, or maybe a cliff where lions can't really uh, surround you is a pretty good strategy, but this one seems to be a little uh, new player. We're gonna chunk just a small piece. And then we're gonna take it through this valley that should be water if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna take that opportunity to rest a little bit, regen our stamina. Because as a solo, I do have to say stamina is a really important factor. And armor also. But you also want attack to kill your prey in a you know, few hits. But 
you have to be very careful with your stamina because if it runs out and you're being chased or if you get surprised by leopards or uh, hyenas then it's it's gonna be a really bad day for you I think I saw little Leo carrying a baby it is a perfect chance to kill it there he is but unfortunately they are pretty fast and they can jump pretty high which I do hope that that jump gets nerfed because it's not really realistic or we can try and hunt this crocodile There is really nothing to lose. Oh. We have another leopard over there. And it seems another baby leopard. Hopefully this won't be a video of me just killing leopards or in this case baby leopards because I thought he was a little bit older I thought it was a sub but in reality it was a little baby so please do not hate me too much because if it was a different animal I would hunt him but it seems that we have breakfast you're gonna stay here for a little bit drink if we get hungry we can choose out of those four crocodiles which one to eat and kill and the good thing is we are helping the environment we're helping other animals well what I think we're going to do is try maybe take a look at the oasis roam a little bit I got a little bit bored of staying there and waiting for the uh, hunger to go down. I am looking for a uh, bit of action. And I wouldn't mind killing myself some Leos, but... We already killed two baby Leos. So let's take a closer look at the Oasis. Be very careful. Because of pride. Because you don't really want to get killed. To so keep a little bit track on the time we're currently one hour in i know that when you guys watch this video it'll be a little bit shorter half of the time we are really just walking resting and waiting there is not really much that i can show you so but as of right now one hour into the challenge and they will the beast You're not, to, you're not supposed to attack a Mr. Wildebeest, that's a rule break. According to the TPK rules. But don't worry, I won't report you. I'll go this way, grab a drink. Because I do think the number one killer in the TPK is crocodiles. And then probably prides. So to have a better chance of survival, I will go to this side and drink water because I know that it's safe and then I'm gonna come back and maybe uh, hunt that wildebeest give him a little bit of a uh, of uh, action I really wish that nighttime was a little bit darker and longer because at nighttime that's when normally the uh, predators go out to kill but because you can almost see without night vision it makes stealth not really a thing. I think that might be a sub adult. You might have a chance on killing that zebra. But sometimes I do find it funny how the buffalo has the same sound as a zebra or a giraffe.
For now, we're just scouting ahead. Taking a big dip look on where everyone is. Surprisingly, we haven't found any lions. We haven't found any lion prides. I keep seeing a lot of leopards, but not a lot of lions. Seems like we have a wild dog family over there. One solo lion. But there sure are a lot of leopards this time. The reason why I'm just scouting is I'm seeing which animals I can hunt or which animals I can't hunt. Usually I prefer animals that are just running around like crazy because I know that the more you run, the less stamina you have. And if we fight, that means if I know how to conserve my stamina, you will run out of stamina and, and it will be an easy prey, especially for herbivores. An easy herbivore to kill, it's a herbivore who's just sprinting around, consuming stamina. Hey, yo, don't bring them to me. It is a difficult choice. Because there's a lot of Leos, but if we hunt the Leos, then we're gonna fight six Leos instead of one. If we try to fight a zebra, if they decide to stay and fight, we might have a chance on killing them. But if they decide to run, then we don't really have the stamina or the speed. Wild dogs is just pointless. Elephants as a solo at lion is just a suicide mission. We might actually try to fight these guys, but... I don't think it's a third party. We're going to try and hunt that little zebra over there. Because like I said, a easy herbivore to kill, it's the one that likes to run the most, so... We are going to keep an eye out on those guys because they will eventually have to stop to regen their stamina and that's when we strike. I do think we lost them but I will keep searching because they either went for a drink or they either went to a place where there's food. So. like they're over there they know that I'm here and I know you see me question is do you guys still have the stamina to keep running away are oh, you still FK let it run you don't need to uh, be afraid of the other zebra. Gotta let it the bleed do effect. I don't know why, but it keeps bugging out. I do have to try and see where the blood trail goes. But she's not really the one that I want, but... We'll probably have to do... There's blood trails. We need to find that little zebra. She's somewhere over here. She seems to have a lot of... Uh, let's try and see if we can drain her stamina out. Dodge a few uh, hits. If possible. Because of it right now.
I think she's out of stamina. We gotta let the bleed do effect. Avoid taking much damage. Be very, very careful. The bleed and the sound is a dead giveaway. That's not the same, that's a different animal. That is not the same, that is a different animal. You be very careful, because we are pretty low. She's using like the uh, the trees to hide. We gave her a lot of hits, so she probably should be almost dead. But she keeps surviving my hits. Probably has a lot of armor because using you know no clipping through trees, going through places that you shouldn't really go through like trees and uh, rocks but it looks like she survived if she moves just a tiny bit I can hear her hear the sound we have like 190 of uh, attack should deal a little bit I'm gonna roam just a little bit try to search but if we don't find the uh, zebra then we're just gonna leave it Go and try and heal up. Well, because we couldn't kill that little uh, zebra, I guess we're gonna eat from this uh, spawn carcass. Luckily for me, I know some places with healing plants, so we're gonna go to those places, heal a little bit. And then continue our journey because we're still halfway of the challenge. Yep. Have to be very careful because there is no healing plants. So if there is no healing plants, that means people are here. In this case, there is a pride. So we are going to avoid this place and try to find place number two. Where I know that there is healing plants. Well guys, we are one minute to hit the two hours of this three hour challenge. Something that I noticed while I was running, roaming around, searching for healing plants is that I've came across, you know, a few prides, which surprisingly, they are not all gathered up in the oasis. We saw that pride that was on that lake. There was another pride next to some healing plants and then I ended up over here because here also has a few healing plants. So it seems like people are starting to 
play around the oasis and not in the oasis which is pretty cool because it will reduce a lot of lag and a lot of rubber banding but we do have to try and hunt something because we are almost empty that little uh, zebra or adult zebra got pretty lucky I don't know really how she survived but it was a pretty good fight but eventually we ended up losing because there were a lot of trees, a lot of uh, rocks, a lot of things that you could go through and uh, we did our best to keep it, keep her in check but we unfortunately lost her. Now a little uh, journey continues because we're almost at the end of the 3 hour challenge. Water is pretty dried up so it means that there is either somebody here or there is a little bit of movement. But we will continue roaming, see if we can spot any other herbivores that are, are migrating. Because like you guys saw, eventually that little zebra ran out of uh, stamina, but luckily for her she used the uh, terrain and whatnot to her advantage and I ended up losing her. Because there were two of them, I didn't really want to hunt the uh, wrong one, so we will try and see if we can find anything good to eat. Hmm. We haven't found any sign of life. But I do think to help me out a little bit, we're gonna go and eat the uh, elephant carcass over here. We're not going to fill up our stomach to 100%, we're gonna just leave it a little bit so that we can still search for uh, food because it's when you least expect that's when people show up i guess we'll divide our remaining time to uh half of the uh time we're gonna try and stay on the uh, south side and then the remaining other half we're gonna go back to the oasis and see things will go but for now we haven't had any pride fights or lion problems we did hunt a few animals we did also uh, manage to fail some hunts which is okay you know sometimes you win sometimes you lose if we had at least one more in the group that zebra would be dead a long time ago but this goes to show that uh, it is possible to survive solo. You just need to be careful on your approach. Damn. This place is really making me feel bad because usually you find some animals, maybe sometimes herds, lions. But every single time that I try to do a video and I come to this place, there is almost either none or just a few players. Two hours have passed and still there is no one here. They might be hiding. We, are, we cannot forget that, but it almost looks empty. So I guess our plans will change. We're going to roam a little bit from this side. We could go all the way south, but it is just a huge place. And I don't really think it is worth it take a look around and then we're gonna go back to uh, oasis or maybe stay around the oasis to see if we can find anybody that's trying to migrate so that we can kill it Like there is a group of prides inside this cave, but they don't really want to smoke. And 
I'm getting pretty hungry. Cutting two male lines would be difficult. If friendly fire was on, we would have a chance because they would probably hit each other, but because it's off, then they can just do whatever they want. But if he keeps following me, I will attack him. I'm just trying to see if he's gonna maybe leave the other friend, create a big distance so I do have some chance on killing him before his friends comes. Because I think he is also a elder. So we will go down to who has more armor and who has more attack. I do want to see if I can use his sprint a little bit because I do want to fatigue him a little bit. Tire him out. Because usually lions don't really have a lot of stamina. People prefer a lot of attack. And here should be a perfect ambush. I'm gonna use the bushes. seem to be doing a lot of damage. Nope. He's TPing like crazy. If he starts to run, then we got him. I know that they are probably being friendly, but, you know, I won't take any risk, like I said. Unfortunate for them, they are, uh, I think, uh, still new players because I think they were using left click instead of right click. So they weren't doing a lot of damage, but it was a good fight. Well, now we have a full stomach, we're gonna drink a little bit of water, and for our luck, we do have some healing plants right over there, hopefully no one uh, used it, and we're gonna rest, and then try to head out to uh, the oasis, or maybe see if we can hunt something else by that time. Luckily for you, Mr. Zebra, I have already hunted something. I do want to try and hunt a buffalo, but I think buffaloes are just a little bit OP. If it was just one buffalo, maybe would we would have a chance, but buffalo seems pretty OP. We have a wild dog. We finally see a pride. Did we try and kill the other crocodile? I'm pretty tempted. But at the same time, we do have to be very careful. I have a pretty small giraffe over there, but I do think she just spawned in, so. We're gonna let her live. Hippos, out of the question. Hippos are pretty OP.
Seems like there is no crocodiles resting on the uh, shore. The numbers of leopards went down, so I will assume that they changed to a lion or something. It seems like they are a peaceful pride, so they're not gonna kill their, their baby. I do want to check out this place because usually there is sometimes a group of people that we might be able to kill. Because right because as of right now we're just scouting to see our options. We don't really want to try and hunt something that later we will regret. But sometimes in this little small uh, lake, usually there are people. We have one crocodile. And we've... I think we have a baby crocodile on the water. We can try our luck again versus a zebra. But the thing is, it will be our last hunt. I don't really camouflage on this grass because I'm... I'm bright as hell. I wanted to see if... The zebra would lay down. And now we have these annoying little mosquitoes. We can easily lose them. It is just annoying to fight wild dogs because they don't really take that much damage. It is just a pointless fight. Because realistically, a lion would kill a wild dog like in five seconds. Here, you have to hit them. You have to hit them like 20 hits or something. They're just so annoying. And the problem is, you can't really do anything. They're pretty fast, so you can't really outrun them. So we're gonna fight in the open field. a pointless fight and with this short little grass that they have they really have advantage so. It is just so annoying. It's just pretty boring, really. We might even die. I don't really care, but it's just fighting wild dogs is just pointless. This is why having a white skin is not really good because you don't really camouflage well. I really hope they nerf this uh, animal. It, it is just unbearable. There is really no point in us to fight. But because they do a lot of damage, they have a lot of stamina, and they can run at you for God knows how much speed, it's just... It is just so boring. And 
with the lag, it doesn't really help that much. I will say, it's because of the skin itself. But it is GG for us because we cannot really escape. We are almost out of stamina. And we're pretty white. We can't really hide ourselves pretty well. And because they're really tiny, you can't really hit them. But it is what it is. I do hope that Wild Dog gets nerfed because this animal really... It's still broken, even though they nerfed it a little bit. But we ran out of stamina. We couldn't really camouflage because of our skin. It is what it is. We cannot really outrun a uh, wild dog. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoy. This proves that it is possible. We died five minutes before the three-hour challenge, but it is possible. So see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.